Hey farmers, what's going on? Welcome back to another Hey Dave video. In this video, we're going to be looking at a really cool farm decoration art design. Also, when this video ends, I will be removing some people from my friend's book. As you guys know, my friend's book is full, and a lot of people are complaining about my friend's book being full so that they cannot add me. So I will be removing a couple of people, and if you get removed, just add me back and make sure you're very fast because whenever I remove people, they add me back again real faster so I just can't do anything and if you didn't add me then I'm sorry I won't be removing anybody else you have to be real fast so let's get started and I'm back in my game I'm just gonna collect some raspberry candles let's see who donated Charles farm and other people so we're having the global truck even in the game and I haven't sent a single truck oh I just done two but I really need to do more let's see what I can do all right, I'm just gonna do I'm so low on the actual barn stuff let me see I don't have enough things I think I just need to run my machines let's oh my god so low on the actual cookies so I'm just gonna probably skip the boat or should I do this I'm just gonna skip this I'm not gonna do this I'm actually gonna do trucks so um I don't have a lot of things I need gold meal fish soup I just don't know what's going on I haven't been much on in the game since a few days so let's go into the paper and get some eggs if I can. Oh, we're getting 10 eggs. Let's get them. Let's get them, please. All right, there we go. We just got 10. What's going on in my neighborhood? Oh, something serious is going on in the neighborhood. So, um, who was bullet? I don't know. Anyways, let's get back to my farm and start baking some cookies. I need tons of cookies. My machines have stopped, and this is like one of the worst mistakes. Never leave your machines empty. So I need cherry juice, which I don't have, unfortunately. I am just going to trash the ones I can't do. I'm going to do the ones that I can do. Ooh, we've just reached the first global um, goal threshold, and I just got about three axes, which I don't really need. But anyways, that's cool. Let's harvest some soybeans and sugar canes to see what we get. All right. By the soybeans, I got one tape, and... um. Ooh, cool. A TNT and a tape. So I'm probably gonna go with some wheat. And let's see if I need to sell something. Yep, we are going to be selling some tea leaves to make coins. So crops are also a best way to make coins in the game. Just make sure you harvest and sell them on the max price. But sell those crops that people buy. For example, tea leaves, tomatoes, carrots, soybeans, sugar canes. Don't sell pumpkins or indigos because they won't go away real quick. They will take a lot of time. So I'm just gonna be getting rid of the extra crops that I have in my silo. And oh, my whole shop is full. I'm just gonna be advertising the actual tea leaves. Let's see what else is going on. I need to collect the products, actual collect from my animals. Ooh, thank you for the market state, my sweet cows. I'm just gonna feed them. Let's collect some bacons. All right, here we go with the bacon. Nothing from my pigs. Let's feed my pigs. And there we go. Let's collect some sheep. I don't have enough sheep. You don't got like six. All right, let's collect some goat milk. Unfortunately, I don't have any goat feed. So my goats are going to stay hungry. I'm sorry, goats. I can't do anything. I don't have enough feed. So I'm just going to be collecting some eggs. And there we go. Let's collect some more eggs from here. All right, I'm just gonna feed the leftover chickens. Let's do one more. All right, so now I need to put some feeds in my female. Let's put four of these. Let's put five pig feed. I don't have enough wheat. My wheat's gonna get ready in 26 seconds. Let's see if we can get wheat from paper. Yep, let's get that. That's for eight coins, base price. We're just gonna get all of that. And that seems like it's a bot farm. I'm not sure if it's actually a bot farm. You guys can see. But anyways, let's get back to my farm and start making some sheep feed. And I'm going to go with some goat feed. I'm going to be feeding my pets as usual. We're going to start from our horses. And then I'm going to go to the donkeys. Then I'm going to go to my rabbits, our bunnies. And we're going to feed our dogs and puppies and cats, kittens. So there we go. We have just fed all of them. Now they're going to sleep. Let's harvest my wheat. All right. 
let's oh we just got a bold so cool and we're just gonna plant the wheat again so if you guys want to get expansion stuff make sure you do a lot of weeding like i'm currently doing this is a very very good way to get expansion stuff faster in the game you just have to wait like two minutes by doing the weeding so um there's another visitor here asking for sauce as always i mean why on earth these visitors need access or sauce like what do they do just go away, okay? I'm never going to sell you my salt and excess and never come back. Or I'm going to... I can't do anything, actually. I'm just going to leave them there. Actually, I've already completed my patronage three achievements, so I don't really mind. I don't care about farm visitors. I really don't care, unless there's double XP, uh, double coins visitor event. So we're just going to send some trucks in. Let's collect some products from my machines. We're going to collect some tea. We're going to be collecting some dairy items, and we're going to be making have a lot of cream and butter, a lot, like a lot. That's cool, because I can make a lot of things, and I can do a lot of trucks. We're going to collect some ice creams, popcorns, some fabrics, sandwiches, going to collect some salads, some cakes, some sugars. Let's run my sugar mill. I need to put some actual brown sugar and the white sugar. Let's get some rewards from my tickets. Ooh, thank you for the plank and a TNT. Brilliant. We're going to collect some bouquets, sushi. So my machines are stopped and I don't have enough onions. We're going to put one spicy fish. I'm so low on a lot of things. We're going to be putting some nachos in there. Let's make... Oh my god. Anyone has onions? I really need them. I don't have enough onions. I'm so poor on onions. Let's run my smelters. Um, I actually still have a lot of ores. From the three days mining that I did a few days ago. But we're just going to be putting a lot of force. Which is cool so that I can make a lot of jewelry items. Oh my god, I'm just going to be putting five bracelets because I'm low on them. Let's do this. Alright guys, now before I show you guys the actual farm decoration. I want to clear one thing that if you're a low level player and if you love to decorate your farm. Make sure you do not spend your coins on expensive things. Try to save them. Save your coins and vouchers for your machines, pets, and other important things. Because decorations are very optional. You can always, like, if you become a high level player, you can make a lot of money, then you can buy them. But if you're a low level player, like I can understand, I can actually understand that how much people love decorations. But the thing is, you have to choose wisely. This is a game of statics. It's like a business game. So you have to be very clever in order to do anything. So make sure you spend your coins, diamonds, and vouchers on important things. But yeah, you can spend your coins on little things. For example, if you go in here, you guys can see you're getting the actual, these are um, crane topiary. These only cost you some, only a few coins. For example, the girly bike, only 275 coins. I know they're not that great, but I feel like that's okay for being a low-level player. So, let's go to that farm, which I'm talking about, and I actually really like the decoration that person has. So, I actually follow that person. It's on level 71. It's called as High Day. I'm not sure what does that mean. Does that mean High Day, or maybe that's, like, Haiti? So, we are on that farm, and oh my gosh, you guys. This is what I was trying to show you guys. This area, look at the creativity of this farm. I know, like, this is not that cool farm, but the actual creativity is jumping here. It's so, so cool. So, we're going to be starting from the actual, our honeybees, and this person needs help. So, let's go to his town. I didn't check his or her town. So yeah, town is cool. Let's see if I can help the beach cafe. Yep, we're gonna do that, and we're gonna be opening the actual chest, and let's get back to his farm and start reviewing his farm. Now, this is not, not like a very beautiful farm, in a sense. It's technically, it's not beautiful, but it's really, really creative. I mean, look, look what the person has created with the help of machines and the dead nectar bushes. So make sure, if you wanna create some designs, the actual deck nectar bushes can be very, very beneficial. Like, don't cut them. Use them. For example, so we're going to start from here. The actual beehive tree. You guys can see the candle maker and the honey tree. Um, the honey extractor. They're behind the honey tree. And I'm really loving this diagonal design that the person has made with the help of nectar bushes. So, he has put some fences. Then a line of nectar bushes. Then again, a line of fences and nectar bushes. So, I think they're blending together real, real nice. So, the same um, kind of design has been made with the help of fields. You guys can see wheat, fences, wheat, and fences. I think it looks, it looks really cool, doesn't it? 
But the most beautiful part of this farm that I like is actually this fox garden. So you guys can see this person has actually trapped some foxes as well, which I could never, like, I don't, I still don't really know how to catch foxes. They never come to my farm, to be honest. So you guys can see this person has made a kind of like a garden, a fox garden with a lot of bushes. You guys can see it's a raspberry bush, blackberry bush, and a lot of cool paths and stone walls with the help of this rose arch. So I think it looks really, really beautiful. And this is my favorite part of this whole farm design. And it's a level 71 farmer. And also this person has put these flowers around the fences in which the foxes are trapped. Now I do how this person has created this hot else. So if you guys don't know, when you use your actual valve, and these are outhouses with the help of fountains, they actually cost you a lot of coins and vouchers. They blend together to create a really beautiful hotel design, which I think looks really cool. And like I will show you guys in a video when I do a decoration video, I'll be showing you guys how to make that. But this is what I wanted to show you guys. You guys can see smelter over here and Shelter. So this person has tried to create a hotel with each machine. So you guys can see there are outhouses, there are the actual wells, and there's one machine. So the trees are there as well. And he has connected all of these hotels with the help of nectar bushes. So it's like all the hotels have one or two machines. You guys can see jam maker and smoothie mixer. Here he has the actual loom and sewing machine. Sauce maker, their popcorn pot, and they all are basically connected with the help of dead nectar bushes. So, so of the actual dead nectar bushes, of the machines, um, the well, and the outhouses look amazing. So, so cool. And then again, it's a very, very creative farm, which I love to look at. And so this is also the person is trying to create. So yeah, I think it looks really cool. And I found this person actually from the newspaper one day. I was searching and I was so shocked to look at the farm. I was like, oh my God, that's such a beautiful farm. That's so cool. That's such an amazing creativity. So I followed them and I was like, I will show you guys this farm design because I know a lot of people ask me to make um, videos on decorations. I feel like I don't do a lot of videos on decorations because I'm not a big decorator, but I love to show you guys other people's farms. So that was it for this video. So this is the farm design that I wanted to show you guys. I am going to rate it 9 out of 10 because I am loving it. I'm loving the fact that this person has used different things which we do not use um, normally. And he has created such a beautiful interference out of that. So it looks really, really cool. So if you guys have some beautiful decorations to show me, please tell me. I will review your farm here. And um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you haven't for more Haiti videos coming. And thank you for following me on Instagram as well. I really appreciate all of you. So Tom's balloon has been left and I'm just going to pop it. See you guys later. Bye.